With the advancement of technology, many children now have small electronics to play with and use. But how do these handheld devices affect kids' eyes? As KMVT's Alexa 2 found out, the answer can be both positive and negative. Many kids, like Isabella, have small electronic devices in their homes. As seen in the use of computers in the classroom, they're often used as a learning tool. But parents need to be aware of the increased risk of myopia or nearsightedness in children. If you're looking at something close all the time, like an electronic device or reading a lot, um, the eye will adjust its length to accommodate for that distance. Dr. Ford said there are three things eyes will do to view something close. First, they'll move inward. Second, the pupils will get smaller to focus. And third, the muscles in the eye will flex to sharpen the image. If you imagine your entire world is here, your eye will ad adapt to your world. And so by allowing you to see better up close, becoming nearsighted, it's to the detriment of your distance vision. But some games can actually be good as an indicator of a lazy eye. Quite often in these new 3D games that they can play, if the child cannot see it in 3D, they're not able to manipulate it, and that's how you can actually find out that they have a lazy eye to begin with. Dr. Ford has some tips parents can follow to keep their child's eyes healthy. A lot of people go by what they is being now called the 20-20-20 rule, and basically 20 minutes of games, then you got to put it down for 20 minutes and look at something 20 feet away. A rule Isabella's parents will remember to protect the future of her sight. In Twin Falls, Alexa to you. Dr. Ford says children who are nearsighted should not wear glasses when performing activities up close.